The sound is handled in a better way, the game now has difficulty options, and the UI has changed a bit. Again, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 61 of my devlog series, Atola's Trek. A couple of weeks ago, I worked on the sound and music management system to control the volume of each sound source. And thankfully, there are people much smarter than me watching who told me of a more efficient way of handling that. Games in House suggested that I use Unity's audio mixer functionality, and that was a great suggestion because it is so much better than what I was doing. So I switched my sound management system to utilize the audio mixer, and I wish there was a mute button for him. From what I found, people were using this equation, so I followed suit as well. I did add 0.001 to the slider value because I had some trouble with it whenever it hit zero. I don't know if that's just me or the equation itself, but it's probably just me. No lie, I actually learned this equation in my electronics class. We were dealing with high and low pass filters, and this is how you convert decibels. I'll be honest, I didn't find it too interesting at the time, but now that I'm actually using it in a different application, um, I am kind of excited that I did learn it. After getting some demo feedback from a little while back, it seemed that there was a concern about the length of the gameplay and that there wouldn't be too much replayability. So you guys are right, so I added some difficulty options to the game. You can now choose between an easy, normal, and hard difficulty option. As you increase in difficulty, you start with less money and more leechers will spawn. I may add more variables that change depending on the difficulty, but these are probably the main ones and the ones that will have the most impact. This doesn't really hold any merit right now because the game is not balanced whatsoever, but once that does get balanced, then these options will definitely have an effect on the gameplay. Whether I plan for it or not, the game will still be pretty quick in nature compared to most other Tycoon games. It's mine is a little bit, well, probably will be a lot bit shorter, but it'll still be good. I hope, I hope it'll still be good. I want to make sure I balance things so easy difficulty is actually easy and the hard difficulty should not be able to be beat by the average player the first time they play. Besides game development, one of my biggest passions is martial arts. I've been doing a lot of basic training, doing a lot of stretching, drilling some basic techniques, and trying to get outside to train when I can. I also made this one minute fight scene for yesterday's Living Rooms Got Talent competition, and I think that turned out pretty well when I was really happy experimenting with something like that. I'm really trying to finalize the UI. One, because I'm kind of getting tired of it, and two, I want to start making a trailer because the release is pretty soon. And there are more important things than the UI right now, such as bouncing the game and fixing any bugs. So I did some minor tweaks to the UI. This included changing some of the button colors, making sure the main menu was nice and pretty, and making things a little bit smaller so they're not taking up as much space. I also changed the behavior so that the research upgrades and the marketing campaigns updated every time you opened the UI panel. The system I had before, it only updated every time you clicked a new button, which worked for the most part, but if you reopen the panel up again, it would save your last selected and it would show potentially a false time depending on if you added more workers. This is not a foolproof system yet because if you have leechers, it will not update whenever the UI is still open, but for the most part, it's pretty right. So as long as it doesn't take a few weeks, I plan on implementing some sort of basic saving system for the game. And it's been a while since I've done any saving and I haven't done it in an extreme capacity. So I wanna know from you guys, what is the best way to go about saving the game in Unity? I've done player preps before and that's what I'm kind of doing right now, but I know there's also JSON files and I wanna know if there's any other ways that are better for saving. If you enjoyed and are itching to play Space Prevention Force, you can actually play the demo on itch, linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. I want you to know that I love you, I care for you, and I am there for you. My Discord messages are always open if you need anything at all. Until next time, from me and my fellow commanders, we are saying goodbye, and we'll see you in the next devlog for some more fun. Bye, everyone.